Hey guys, so today Apple has released yet another beta for iOS 26.1. Today releasing iOS 26.1 developer beta 4. Now, public beta testers, you'll most likely see this populate for you within the next 24 to 48 hours, but developers can download iOS 26.1 developer beta 4 as of today. Now, the download was a little over 12 gigs on this iPhone 17 Pro Max, updating from beta 3 to beta 4, and I want to head on over into settings. I want to go under general and about, show you the latest build number for this one, because as you see right there, the build number has the letter A towards the end of that build number, which typically means that Apple will soon be releasing this software update to the general public here shortly. Now, iOS 26.1 Developer Beta 4 is available as of today, as I mentioned, but the RC, the release candidate, which is the one that we typically get before the official release, will most likely become available sometime next week. Now, we'll talk about the expected release date towards the end of the video, but I have to say, with this one, Apple has added a feature that most of you guys have been wanting ever since the announcement of Liquid Glass. Apple is definitely listening to their customers customers and I have to say I thought I'd never see Apple actually add this change where you can actually adjust liquid glass on your iPhone with the latest iOS 26.1 beta. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, aside from iOS 26.1 developer beta 4, Apple also released iPadOS, macOS, watchOS, tvOS, and visionOS 26.1 developer beta 4, all available to download as of today. So the first thing I want to talk about is one of the biggest changes happening with iOS 26.1 beta 4, and that is the ability to control the look of liquid glass and iPhone users have been wanting this feature for so long it is finally here I want to see more of this app was actually listening to their customers so once you update you can head on over into settings scroll down right here under display and brightness and you'll find that new option right there for liquid glass as you can see right there so you can choose the preferred look for liquid glass now when you tap into the menu you have two options you have clear and then you have tinted now obviously this iphone is light mode right now you see there you get the example on the top here so if we go from clear to tinted that is what that looks like in light mode now some users wanted a toggle to increase or decrease the intensity or the opacity of that liquid glass but this also works again clear tinted clear tinted and now obviously if we go into dark mode here let me show you what that looks like in dark mode so we have the tinted now clear tinted and clear and this translates over to the menus to the notifications and things like that so finally the ability to adjust the opacity of liquid glass now let me show you this notification on the lock screen so we have the notification right there it is so if we go into the options here in settings and adjust that liquid glass so let's go ahead and select tinted option take a look at the actual notification now that's pretty cool now let me show you that under the light mode option so you can really notice in light mode so if we go into light you see they're clear you see that's the notification now take a look at the tinted option under the light mode so take a look at that so right there that is a major change right there to the contrast of liquid glass so yeah i want to see more of this apple finally adding the option to adjust liquid glass to your liking the look of liquid glass on the display and brightness in iOS 26.1. Pretty cool option. Now this software update also brings another change that I've been waiting for for many, many years, and that is accidentally swiping over to the right to launch the camera. Now, I don't know about you, but oftentimes when I put my iPhone down on a table, I accidentally just swipe to the left for some reason and I come back to the camera on the lock screen. Now you have the option to actually stop this from happening, finally. So if we go into settings, head on over into camera settings, and we scroll all the way to the bottom, oh, right there it is, lock screen swipe to open camera. If you turn this off, you now no longer be able to swipe to the left to review the camera you can just add an extension like so and just launch the camera that way again i don't know about you but oftentimes i would accidentally swipe over to the left when placing my iphone down and when i come back the camera would be launched or open on the lock screen it was so annoying I'm happy that Apple has finally added this. Now, honestly, iOS 26.1 is shaping up to be an amazing software update to iOS 26. As I mentioned before, the RC or release candidate will most likely become available next week on the week of October the 26th. I will say the 27th of next week. We'll see.
see the RC or release candidate right before the official release, which I believe will most likely be on November 3rd or November 10th of November. I'll keep you guys posted. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. Obviously, I'll have a follow-up video for you guys if I come across any additional new features and changes within this latest beta, so make sure to subscribe. But again, iOS 26.1, developer beta 4, bringing some much-needed, much-wanted new features and changes. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.